Yo, what's up everyone? Good evening. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, we have a special truck. Uh, I had spoken to, uh, of course, our good pal John about this truck. He's like, we you going to, uh, to start the truck? I told him, you know what? We're going to start tonight. I, tonight, you actually get to see everything. You even get to see all my mileage that I'll be racking up. Normally that thing is hidden away. I guess today it's not really a secret. It's not really hidden. Uh, actually, I need to move some stuff over. One, so I can see everything. Alright. But, uh, yeah, we're getting this uh, show on the road. Uh, man, dinner was so good tonight. I, every now and then, a few things that I make is a sausage. This, not eggs, not bacon, no, sausage, bell pepper, sweet peppers, uh, kidney beans, celery. Oh, man, it is to die for. Throw that over some brown rice. It is a very, very good meal indeed. Okay, I think it's going to work now. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Now you won't be able to see the mileage. At least, I hope not. We are live earlier this morning for what seems to be like a five-hour stream. We drove from San Francisco, California, all the way to uh, Kentucky. Hopkinsville, Kentucky this morning. Oh my gosh, what a drive that was. Tonight, not so much. We're actually cutting those mileage in half. We're only going about 1,000 miles. So we, there shouldn't be any unnecessary stops unless I get pulled over, arrested, or who knows what. It is a uh, Saturday night, so we're going to get going here. We might do two runs tonight. It all depends on how far we go. But today has been, today is one of the few Saturdays that I kind of just chilled and didn't do a whole lot. Next Saturday, not so much, as I do have plans uh, the the next two Saturdays, uh, at least in the evening time. Uh, well, it will be a Memorial Day weekend, so I'll probably be off that Friday anyway. I'll just probably take off and have a four-day weekend, so you can definitely uh, check out more of the stream at the end of the month. And maybe we ought to talk about this latest and greatest thing that's been going around uh, in the Facebook world, in the TikTok world. I mean, there's a lot of stuff swirling that, and of course, Facebook laid off like 20,000 people. Now I have to look for other jobs. And of course, uh, Tactical Grandma, who very rarely says anything bad about Facebook, actually came out today expressing her frustrations and her anger. And, and I think that's the first time I saw something like that take place. And over all the social media, social media is not, it's almost like it, they have their highs and they have their lows. And I know uh, many of them had their highs a couple years ago to now, I am seeing myself personally, more and more people sell a lot of the equipment that they literally went into. For me, everything's an investment here. I'm definitely good with my one PC. It has been uh, a lifesaver. It saves me from using my laptop too much, which was another great investment. Both probably cost about equal. But on the marketplace, you did you know that you can actually get a, a pretty good desktop for like $600? Six, I mean, I even paid on the marketplace a few years ago before I end up... Uh, buying parts to make my own and do my own upgrades and eventually my whole PC is literally a brand new thing it's not the same as it was before so uh, but yeah there's seeing a lot of people that went out into the gaming world whether for a short time long term I am seeing a lot of people Say, you know what? Things happen. P 
people change, times have changed, time to move on. And so, uh, but we're going to get started here shortly. Just uh, waiting on this thing to load up. We've already got our cargo selected. Of course, our good friend John Barrett. Hopefully, the chat will come through. Uh, right now, we have nobody on chat. We did have some issues this morning. I'm hoping those issues are long gone. But definitely appreciate all the likes, shares, comments, follow, and just being a valuable part of this community. I don't have too many mods out here, so I don't know why it's taking forever to load this thing. You, typically, the more mods you have, the more convoluted, the more bogged down everything is. But if you're new to the stream, I welcome you. Uh, like I said, it's, I had a great conversation with Thatch Gaming on on Kick actually this morning. And many of you on Twitch and Facebook. Now, uh, the tomorrow we'll probably be doing a different game. I had some issues with farming. I got to get that straight. Farming does not like me now. Just like this uh, game, ATS is taking forever to load. But it will come to eventually. All I do is, I've already got the cargo ready. All I have to do is deliver it. We're delivering some concrete slabs. So let me send that tweet out. So yeah, we're delivering some concrete slabs in this awesome truck that I know you'll like. It is a 10 speed. And so uh, it's not one of my trucks that has a lot of speed to it. But yeah, there's been a, a lot of stuff swirling in the news area. And I try to keep thoroughly updated to all the news. Right now, it appears the game is frozen on the hole in the rock. We know there's a hole in the rock. Alright, she, sh she should be uh, almost done, hopefully. Let me see. What's, oh, now she's done. Now she's ready to go. By the time I do that, and it happens every time. Actually, you won't be able to see everything. Maybe you'll see that line. So we, we have plenty of time for this drive here. This is a new truck that we are taking out. Of course, we got to wait again. You know what? I never made this a convoy yet, so we can't go anywhere. We have to go back to our main menu. So we're going from Las Vegas to Kellisville, Montana. It's only a $50,000 job. But we're heading up to Montana with this uh, these barri concrete barriers. Like I said, the truck is loaded. You can see it. We're in Las Vegas. Uh, this is a new truck here. Uh, you can see the Euro United LLC. I told John that this would be as close as I can get to it. Uh, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so. Let's make this a convoy. And actually, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. This is what I meant to do. Let's make it a quick convoy so I can actually see everything. We just want to host a convoy. It's already one mods. I had 20 this morning. How the heck do I got 31? Maybe this won't take long to take care of. As it gathers all my stuff. Yo, what's up, Brady? How's it going? We are finally getting the truck ready to go. Had some technicalities, technical delays. But she is about ready. 
How are y'all doing tonight? I tell you what, I am so stuffed. I've eaten so much food. Now, after eating all that good food, we gotta get on this truck and get her rolling up to Montana. Alright, so she's about ready to go. Just gotta wait and see, buy her time. How have you been these days? You missed a great convoy. Well, oh, actually, you missed a great uh, uh, journey this morning. Going from San Fran to Kentucky. That was a fun one. All the way to Hopkinsville, Kentucky. We did end up getting some racing mileage. <sighs> Alright, so I think she's ready. Almost. 28 out of 31. We're going to get this thing on the road and head on and do our thing. Alright, we are officially ready to go. So let's uh, take a drive, shall we? Okay, we are ready. I know y'all see everything this time. Normally I wouldn't, but... I don't know why it's showing up. All right. It is time to head on out from Las Vegas, Nevada. All right. Taking the Volvo VNL 780. Again, this is one of John Barrett's uh, requests. He sends me a lot of different truck requests, actually. And what I do is I go through them and look at all the ones I can do. This one was actually supposed to be, supposed to be a 760. <laughs> Alright. Now we are ready to roll. We have over a thousand miles to go. I can see everything too. So we can't even play a game because y'all will all automatically know. I mean, you kind of see how much weight we have with these concrete barriers. And here we go Salt Lake City, Utah. We only got one more gear before this thing tops out. That's the only thing about a 10 speed. You don't get a lot of options. Do we go this way? Crap. No, we do not go this way. I did not know. I'm not supposed to do that. Alright, so we're heading back to Las Vegas instead. See the pretty sights and sounds of Las Vegas, Nevada. My, hey, the stratosphere. We stayed there. We had a great time in the stratosphere in 2016. Looks like I can turn around over here because I did miss my exit altogether. Brandon, what's up? How's it going? All right, a nice day for a stroll through Las Vegas and heading up to, dang, there's no place to turn around. It's almost like Kansas, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Well, in this case, there's no place like turning around, no matter how you look at it. We got all these concrete barriers blocking our way. Can't even find an exit in Las Vegas. What is up with that? Because we get literally got to turn around to go the opposite direction. So we are way out of our area. We're going to try to get some real miles. At least that's what we're hoping for. Can I get some real miles? Finally an exit. Alright, this is our exit. We got to 
Just go the opposite direction because this is not the way to Montana. It's the way to beautiful Las Vegas, though. Way to way. That's a good year blimp. Alright, now let's try this again. With our luck, we shouldn't have this. Should be there in about an hour's time, give or take. If we ever get on the right road. Drive on the inside. Yeah, today was cool. We had a special guest. Uh, Liam and his dad uh, came hanging out with us. And so, uh, he enjoyed the fact that he got to hang out with y'all and, and do some streaming and driving himself. Almost up to the par. Let's find the right road this time. All right, it looks like this goes all the way around. Uh, I think I got to take it right up here. All signs point to uh, that's Los Angeles. That's the way I go. Yo, what's up, Brady, on YouTube? All right, I don't go that way. All right, well, I gotta make sure I'm on the right exit. Oh shoot! Well, that will do it. All right, it's this next one over here. That's one way for me to slow down in a heartbeat. There's Salt Lake City again. Let's go the Salt Lake City way. Oh no, why would you do that? All right, now we're officially back on track. One exit shy of exa doing what we meant to do. But anyways, we're out here cruising right now. Oh, boy. Alright, it's feeling 75. Twenty five, stay alive. All right, we have maxed out our gears right now. If I continue staying on this path, we this should get us into Montana within the hour's time frame. That's about nine hundred and seventy nine miles. Yeah, I definitely see all the messages right there, Brady. I'm also trying not to lose control of this car, too. Or truck, I should say. Whoa, what the heck? Wow, that was too close. I literally just saw that accident up the road here. Oh, nearly a race. Okay. I gotta watch out for that. It cannot beep. Welcome 
to Arizona. See, I didn't see the yellow beforehand. Definitely don't want any racing mileage if I can help it. Try to get as real mileage as possible. Oh boy. No! Dang it. Ah, oh, crap. Help, I've fallen. I literally can't get up. And that's what happens when I drive too fast around a curve. Looks like I'm playing dead. All right, how about now? All right, we're all safe. Everyone's up and at them. Yep. All right. Hey, there's Brian. Hold on here. My earbuds fell down. Yo, what's up, Brian? And this morning I did like a four hour stream, almost a five hour. Yeah. Alright, I think I gotta pull over real quick. ATS. Down from California all the way down to uh, uh, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm back, folks. Let me tighten this up real quick. All right. So now let's get on the road again. All right, come on, truck. Oh, yeah, today's been the day of ATS. Me any comment on that, Brady. Sorry. All right. So we are cruising right now. Like I said, we have a long way to go. Short time to get there. We have about yeah, just under a thousand miles. So a lot of uh, traveling. Let's get this baby back up to speed. Even though we are carrying these concrete uh, YouTube and face YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, he just said, "Hey, what's up?" Tenth gear now. We are ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy the drive. And seventy-five miles an hour. We'll see if we get this truck up to speed. If they ask me to stop, good. I was say, can't they see our cargo? I mean, it's plain as day. We got all these concrete barriers. There's no reason why we should not have to stop for anything. I'm trying to get real mileage, uh, or real miles, I guess. 
on a flatbed truck. Now we're at 70 right now. I know there's going to be a lot of twists and turns heading through Utah and the Colorado. I think, yeah. And then even Idaho. I like that Coke trailer. Makes me want to drink a Coke. All right. So yeah, we have a long way to go. Short time to get there. CRST trailer. I love the fact that a lot of these AI vehicles that are driving, they have real, real life logos. They're not just phony, baloney, made up logos. Alright, we're still watching our speed limit. And there's a bus right there. We ain't going to do anything at this rate if I keep hitting everything. Wilma. At least tonight's stream is not going to be as long as it was earlier today. When I see our hiccup. Or the stream was just completely messed up. Still an under real mile. Eighty miles an hour. I don't know if this truck can even hit eighty. When we got these concrete barriers. about 70 miles an hour when you get up to 80 at least. <sighs> yeah, the truck is all filled up. Whoa. City, Utah. I think Pan Am, uh, they work for the airlines. This is one of the many trucks that will be driving out uh, this upcoming week on Monday and Tuesday for sure. Uh, we are driving this uh, Volvo up tonight. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. If farming is working, which it wasn't earlier. Ever since they didn't update, it killed my controls. Uh, at least we're sitting on 75 miles an hour. And remember, if you are in, if you're tuned in, make sure you're hitting that notification button. When I go live, 
Whoa. Okay, it's 80 miles an hour. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. This truck is not slowed down by anything. Whoa! And these concrete barriers are not moving at all. Looks like some construction in the Utah area. But I'm not bringing y'all any barriers. Oh man. All right. Actually, next Saturday, probably be able to. Actually, I don't know if the plane is just yet. We'll hold off on the next two Saturdays. Oh no, the two Saturdays from now, Memorial Day weekend. We'll be doing lots of streaming. Typically we're on. I know, that's what I'm hoping. I know, I'm all over the road. Yeah. <laughs> They've been smoking <laughs> cannabis. <laughs> Even my wife tells me the same thing. Like, you can't drive worth the lick. Yet I can drive in real life. And I even have all these barriers to weigh me down, but they don't seem to be doing the trick either. Oh, uh, 80 miles an hour. Oh, we're going like 90. Oh, crap. We're a racing mile. Shoot, so much for that. Well, we're already logging racing miles. I was trying not to. They very red flagged us. Now we're racing. Which I don't mean to be racing. I put my pedal down and next I know she's going all over the place. Uh, it must have been that dinner I had. They say never uh, drive on a full stomach. They say never swim either. Because you may drown. Never drive on a full stomach because you may crash. Fall asleep at the wheel. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! See what I mean? I'm barely doing anything. This vehicle to be all acting all crazy. I can't believe it logged us as race amounts. We were only a few miles over and I didn't even see it. Once I hit it, there's no going back. I might as well be the number one race mileage in, in all of ATS history. And this thing's only got 10 gears, but it does have a, I think, 800 horsepower motor. And in this truck too which is helping tremendously as far as where we got to go don't open the map while driving whoa we made it and that's why you don't open the map while you're in the process there's Selena Utah we're going all the way up there. I don't know if y'all can see the road. Yeah, over that little blue dot. And almost into Canada. Dang. That's a lot of, a lot of driving. We're heading as far north as to Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada.
We'll say 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I tried driving one of these American Truck Simulator. Oh my goodness. You'd be all over the road too. No matter what kind of cargo you're taking back there. Try not to go too fast because we're already racing mileage. I wonder if it'll still count as no regular mileage. I think you have to drive very cautiously when attempting to drive. Dang it, we're at 84 miles an hour, just like that. We're trying to keep up with the 80, then they switch speed limits on us. That's how to, that's one reason why so many people get, get all these racing mileage because they don't see the signs like that. I'm glad everything's on cue this morning or this afternoon or this evening. get up to Montana and we'll decide if we'll continue with another load or we'll wait. We'll play it by ear. I would just like to play it by ear and see where we are. The man ate so much food. I even got some snacks here for the road. Must have ate all my snacks. Uh, no, I got a Starburst. Or two. So we're in Provo, Utah, home of the boy, not boy to say it, home of the BYU, uh, the Mormons. What? I'm in the middle, I can't pull over yet. And I gotta pull over here in Provo, Utah. Gotta check my tires, they seem to be a little flat. Alright. Hang tight.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Definitely happy other early Mother's Day. Oh yeah. Yep, tomorrow is Mother's Day already. Man, what'd y'all get your moms for Mother's Day? All right, I think we're ready to roll. Uh-oh, engine failure. Come on, Trey, you can do it. All right, now we'll, we can sit back and head on northward. All right, we're not eastbound and down. We're heading north, almost into Canada for this drive. Tell you what, that dinner I made tonight, oh, it was so good. I'm not sure what we're going to make uh, the next coming week. What the heck just happened? You see that truck? It got in my way. It, I had nothing to do with it. Hey, John, what's up? Surreal, what's up? Hey, what's up? I'm doing all right, doing all right. Heading northward. Rebel, what's up? Oh, had some sound issues. Hmm. Oh, almost choked here <clears throat> on the starboard. Hoping to find a fashion family restaurant. Ooh, nice. See, my mom lives in Texas. My in-laws in Myrtle Beach. And we don't have kids. My wife is not a mom, so... Uh, so we have... We can't celebrate. We can wish... Uh, a happy Mother's Day tomorrow. And so, uh, yeah, uh, it was kind of slow yesterday, I would say, with the sound. The tea, uh, it's not with me right now. Uh, I'm trying to drink, trying to be healthy, Kenyon. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, Volvo last night. Cool. We are headed to Montana. What's up? What? Who? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> nice, nice. Wow. Oh, yes, yeah, Sorrel, we are. T I oh, my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it here. Taking concrete barriers all the way to. Uh, where did it say? Kellisville, Montana? Now, this truck here I actually uh, designed for John Barrett. It's one of his trucks that he used on a regular basis. Regular basis. And so we're heading to Calypso. Yeah, Calypso, Montana. Looks like we're getting off here in just a minute. And so... Uh, this morning we did like a four hour stream, at least four hours. But yeah, Rebel, on the sound issues, it wasn't my PC. Well, I get it was my PC, but I got like four monitors plus two mics trying to figure out where the heck is the sound going to. And at the end, of, and I didn't really see anybody at the time. I didn't know Jarvis was a cop, but I was trying to get the sound issues straight. We'll be back on it. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be back on it tomorrow. Yeah, it is off automatic. Thanks for remind thanks for uh, checking with me on that. Yeah, I took it off automatic because well, earlier, if you caught the end of the stream today, you saw that 
I had a good friend of mine and his son uh, come uh, take a drive. I put on automatic for them so they can uh, so we can just uh, learn just take a drive. Uh, he was having fun with it. Uh, so yeah, I'm still playing the the monitor game pretty much. Figure out which monitor, which mic, where the heck is the sound going to, and all that fun stuff. All right, let's get into this way station here. Whoa! Brake check, brake check. Don't hit him, don't hit him. Okay, go right past him. Never mind. We ain't stopping now. Oh boy, this is not cool. Return to interstate. Well, that's what we're doing here. Oh boy. We couldn't even stop at the way station. We went right by it. I was going way too fast. So, uh, we have uh, 585 miles left to go. You need it on automatic. Can't use... Well, yeah, in cases like that, Oh, I mean Utah, or you're in Montana, I mean Utah. That's right, we're heading up to Montana, though. Really, truck? I'm trying to drive. This thing is not doing me any favors right now. Oh, we had a huge party this morning. Get my lights on. We'll drive till it's pitch black, then we'll pull over and uh, take a tin ski here. Get some shut eye and stuff. Well, that's understandable, um, for sure, John. And uh, I, I remember this morning talking about how they need to have like built in hand controls. We had the same conversation this morning, um, but they have not even thought of people with certain disabilities. Rarely use high beams. I only use the high beams for a moment or two. Not really uh, for the long term. I do not like driving at night. I used to drive at night all the time when I was younger. But as you get older, uh, nighttime driving is a thing of the past. We are getting off at this exit here. Pocatello, Pocatello. We might see the famous riot barn, which is in Pocatello, uh, Idaho. He's the only streamer that has that. No, him and Big Rick Frosty are the two that I know of that have in, something in this game for them that they had no knowledge of, which is really cool. Wouldn't it be neat if a game creator said, hey, we'd love to put something of you in the game. But Raya actually helped bring a lot of the crowds to, uh... Oh, yeah, anytime, John. We need that group up and running again. It has not been, uh... uh been a happening place lately. And... So, yeah, if there's any... Stir up some conversations. Um... Uh, and I always share everything there. Uh, no matter what it is, so people are aware of some uh, recent stuff. Back, I would say three years ago, Facebook groups was a place where you could share everything. But then things have changed so much. And all right, it's pitch black. We got a there's a rest area just right up here. Instead of hitting the E, we're gonna do the console device. For this one so let's uh get our brake check on Woo, brake check all right all right we are pulling into a truck rest stop cars and camper cars and pickups that way trucks go this way so I think we go around it's a little too late for us. We want to make sure we get adequate sleep so we can finish the drive strong. Had to move. Really? 
move to oh it's here phone internet oh that sinks rebel that that's horrible oh yeah forget to give you <laughs> all right I gotta find a place to park as you can see I'm hitting everything here's a nice parking spot I think Unless this truck disappeared. All right, we are finally at the truck rest stop. Perfect time to get some shut eye real quick. Ooh. Let me get it set here. Oops, that would help I already hit the right no right button. Appreciate Brian following for 1153 days. Thank you always for your uh, support and followage and with everything you do with this channel and helping us grow one person at a time. Alright. So we are going to continue on. This trailer here is actually was designed by me i didn't do a whole lot to it but the euro united llc that's actually one of john barrett's uh trucks that he said hey we ain't rolling with it so i told him i'd be rolling after dinner tonight haven't seen them on i'm gonna try eating at a starburst and not choke tonight gotta have some snacks when you're on the on the road, especially where we're going. Oh, anytime, definitely. I really appreciate you uh, for wanting to be a part of and taking a chance on me in the whole community. There's Rebel again. <laughs> Still doing it. It's definitely not as bad. That's for sure. Believe it or not, Rebel, this morning. It was so bad for the first hour. But I literally did a five-hour stream. And uh, once that was done... It was like a piece of cake. Hey, there's John, the man of the hours in the house. Rolling with your favorite truck here. Well, I'm proud to be your friend too, John. swollen stuff all right so this is a Volvo VNL 780 we could not do a 760 we just don't have the templates for that but uh, back to what rubble was saying earlier if you were on this morning stream you noticed that we had to shut it off at 45 minutes because nothing was on cue at all I made a conscious decision to say, you know what, let's shut it down and restart. When it hit that restart button, guess what? Things were back to normal again. Oh, you're in Glasgow, Montana right now. Cool. I was about to say we'll meet there, but we're not on MP or anything like that. And so uh, we got both Johns in here. and. This is, uh, like I said, the Volvo VNL. We don't have anything else in particular about this truck. But throughout the week, uh, we're going to be showing a different truck that I did for John. Today is all about the Volvo. And unless I switch trucks up all together. And the conversation continues to pick up. 
uh, then we'll definitely bring out more trucks we still have about 498 miles to go I chose a shorter distance for the Volvo B&L this is a 10 speed so of course I'm not accustomed to these 10 speeds I like I like things to be really fast really smooth and really loud Thankfully for a speed limit that allows us to go at a decent speed. But Rebel, compared to first thing this morning, this is actually on in sync with everything. Awesome. Well, I have a game and laptop myself too, John. Uh, I use it when I'm traveling on the road and not just for gaming and stuff. Dang, that is a lot of mileage. Brake check. Alright, we finally made it to a way station, which means we're in Idaho. Dang, one, 1900 miles from Glasgow, Montana to Beaumont, Texas. Did I stop at the truck away station? I think I did stop. Definitely a gaming laptop. Uh, like I said, the reason I say gaming laptop because you can take them wherever you want. Now, I don't, now depends on your price range and stuff. My very first gaming laptop was a $3,500 Alienware uh, Area 51 which I still use for a lot of things and it's not much for gaming or streaming I remember this morning I even had a conversation like about that back in the day when Glenn and Nessa had said hey when you get that get your desktop bill you won't really need your gaming laptop you can still do what you want to do but on the road and it's because of their encouragement that I was able to get uh, accomplished something. And with all your support that eventually it was finally put together. Haven't had any issues. Of course, I got a bigger graphics card on it now than my laptop. Uh, on the desktop, that is. And when I went into the streaming business and the content creating, I thought about it. I thought about what I could and could not do, and I was like, you know what, this is something I definitely want to uh, accomplish. It was something that no one else could tell me I was doing it right or wrong but myself, and also you guys, the community. You know, because, and we have a great community, great supporting cast, and uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the great supporting cast. From all over the place, uh, whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, Kick. Oh, there's a nice Volvo on the Steam Workshop. Like a next gen. Well, I was trying to find a template for the 760. I could not find a template at all. Uh, I did some research on it, could not find it. So, for this sake, we're just going to keep it with a 780, which is probably close to a 760 anyway. And then we'll bring out a T680, and we'll bring out some Peterbilts. Uh, along with some, we got an International. We have a lot more trucks to bring out. I was literally on a roll uh, getting these paint schemes done for John. One after another. But when I go to like hotel rooms and stuff, or even Airbnbs, I'll either game or I'll stream or even do both. At least try to get one stream no matter where I'm at. But I haven't been to an Airbnb in a long time. I need to save up money and figure out where I'm going to go. All right, so we're still going to speed limit. With 435 miles left in, not left in the tank, but actually, I probably need to stop and find a fuel stop before long. Ooh, easy 
doesn't. But let's see if I can. Ooh, that was close. Jolly Ranger. I gotta have something in my hand while I'm driving. I feel like my hands have to be doing something. Whoa. Oh, you got home with a plant to load? Nice, a Missouri. Cool. Yeah, we're not doing any coast to coast uh, tonight. We're going to do, whoa, get back on the road, get back on the road. Well, there's a perfect fuel stop. I think that's Pocatello. Awesome, John. Awesome. Is this a Star Wars or Jolly Ranger? Huh. Oh, nice. Whoa. No one, the, uh, oh, no computer, the memories, all, oh, what? Moving to Idaho Falls. Watching me from your Chromebook. Okay, okay, cool. Mmm. I know what that's like. I know exactly what that's like, John. Now that's really cool, Rebel. And that's because you got the templates for the Ruta trucks. I don't think I've ever purchased a Ruta truck myself. Now, a lot of the SCS trucks, I can skin those. It's just, uh, and I, this is an SCS truck that I skinned, which, tell you what, once, I wish I knew this stuff way back when. But I had a lot on my plate at the time. And I had a great community that actually was willing to uh, skin for me when I first started. And once uh, we kind of figured it out that it doesn't take a whole lot to skin these days. I know, uh, look at Michael. He's already skinning GTA stuff like crazy. Are we in Montana already? Dang. I think we just crossed into Montana. I think we're going to bypass this way station, though. I don't even know where this way station is located. I think it's over there somewhere. That's cool, Rebel. Appreciate the offer. <laughs> if you have more mods on on what? On Bell, I'll break your game. What do you mean by that? I have like 36 mods activated. Alright. 
I definitely have broken enough games in the, for sure. But when I skin mods, I do it out of pure relaxation. And uh, it's a neat trait to have. Back in the day, someone actually charged me an arm and a leg, literally. And I thought it was a good uh, partnership at the time. Didn't realize uh, the partnership wasn't all that. There was no really partnership. And so uh, I went on my way. He went on his way. I think I literally bought him enough to buy a computer at all the money that he racked in. I guess you can call me my young and dumb days. But yeah, if you don't have mods in the right order, that will easily break your uh, game. Whoa, no. Whoa, whoa. Get back on track, truck. Get back on track. Or not to, we've already hit racing mileage, which sinks because I want to get real mileage. How to do it back then? Started to. Uh, that's true. Uh, I think the person I'm referring to was uh, someone before we met Rebel. I know you uh, you've been with us for a long time too. And this person was like the very first person that had noticed the community growing and stuff. And next thing we know, he started skinning me garages and some other stuff. For charge, of course. If I look at how easy it was, like, it took me almost three years to finally teach myself how to skin and, and watching some great... Oh yeah, three years, and the person that started, was the very first one that skinned me was right about the four year mark, I believe, because I, I know a lot of people came much later, but yeah, uh, the friendship that we have developed since uh, day one has been amazing. Like, once you're a friend of the community, you are a, literally a friend for life, unless you choose different paths to go down and stuff. And we all want the best for the community. That's to continue to grow and expand and uh, raise support and and continue grinding each and every day. And uh, like I said, I am a Christian gamer. I'm a Christian pastor, gamer, and streamer, content creator. Do a lot of variety, almost a lot of variety shows. I uh, think outside the box uh, a lot of the time and but I will also uh, help you guys out if uh, if there's a problem I'll let you know that I have found a problem to not do this 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 but let's do this this instead we need to find a fuel place because we have run out of fuel all the way to Montana without any fuel I think that's right, Rebel. It's been about three years. I remember me, you, Brandon, and uh, Glenn, Nessa, and Michael, and of course, Brian, and John, Jonathan. I think who else was there? Oh, Josh. I had to try to look back at everyone that you have not been baptized? Whoa! Oopsie. Awesome. Awesome that you are a Christian. Cool. Yeah, when uh, people find out that I'm a pastor, sometimes it freaks them out, but I actually went to school to become a pastor and ordain minister and out. And I'm just out there sharing my love of gaming with the community. 
Awesome. Oh yeah, Michael I said I, I have making multiple skins. It is relaxing. And you can get to be creative. I love the creative aspect part of making skins. It's your own design and Michael actually uh Oh yeah. Yeah, you can use paint.net. Believe it or not, I I was able to what I was able to do, Rebel, a lot of them, none of these are locked or anything. I was able to go in there and actually uh, toy around with the garage. I haven't really updated it, but I was able to toy around with it. But yeah, you can't find garage paint. Uh, the garage, uh, what's it call it, uh, on there at all. Like, as far as skinning and stuff. But all it takes is, uh, if there's a template out there, and I've tried looking at it for it too, and I use paint.net, I've tried touching it up, I've worked on it a little bit, but my focus hasn't been on that. And, uh, this is just one of the, now that I'm able to take some of my paint skins out, uh, from what I've been doing. We have less than 100 miles, well, about 150 miles before we run out of fuel. And we are actually, we're almost there, 248 miles. Dang. We got time to do another one here at this rate. But, uh, yeah, Michael's uh, been on, uh, helping out with the uh, West Virginia RP, too. And he, uh, I love how Michael, as soon as he's done with it, he'll send me the thing. And actually, I had a friend teach me briefly about uh, painting skins for, like, GTA. Same stuff, same way. But at the time, I just had a lot going on. I still work a lot, too. But, yeah, I can definitely send you uh, that. Because I haven't found a blank canvas of garage templates out there anywhere. So I wonder where these garage templates come from. Alright, so we should be coming to a rest. Oh, I just knocked that car on over. Butte, Montana. Already to Montana, can y'all believe it? Talking and driving this whole time, next thing we know, we are literally in Montana. Trying to not to miss our exit here. She goes or nobody knows. I don't know what kind of cargo we're going to actually pick up in Montana. We'll look at it and see. Sorry to uh, help me page or whatever. So you can get you a new PC tower. Maybe you could do something like that for uh, uh, I'm trying to think what the name of it is. Uh yeah, GoFundMe page. I don't know if that's legit or anything. Maybe. You never know. Uh, but I'm actually in the process of building two different towers right now. One uh, for either my wife or myself. I haven't decided yet. And the other one is for a, fr for a friend. And then I'll possibly build in a third one. Hey, Dylan, you actually made it this time. How come you always make it almost? Not that we're done yet. That'd be funny. Dylan's here. All right, time to end the stream. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, Dylan. No, we're not at the end yet. Now that... That has been funny, though.
<laughs> but Rebel, I will definitely look into maybe even the GoFundMe stuff. <laughs> you know it. Almost there. But well, we need some fuel. We are going to run out here shortly. There is a fuel place. Yay! Make it. We're gonna make it. There you, that's a good goal to have, Rebel. Alright. But definitely, if you're able to work, definitely work and save up that way and and just do it piece by piece uh, if you're building it your own PC take your time with it get the parts together you may have to start with the motherboard $200 for that then eventually get a, a processor $700 for that maybe a tower for another six another $100 Oh yeah, and like I said, on the marketplace, I actually got a solid deal. If you want someone to already build you a gaming PC, I have not been disappointed by what I have received. I actually have someone in our area that's selling their gaming PC, believe it or not. Some are selling it piece by piece. Missing Robbie's. Oh yeah. Yeah, Robbie uh you used to uh, come quite frequently. Alright, we're at the fuel stop. We just want fuel and nothing else. Is that so hard to ask? We are getting some fuel. Yay, there it is. Break check. We made it. Oh, yeah. And that's totally understandable. Oh, we did? I didn't know that. Cool. Tell him congrats on that, Dylan. All right. We have finally made it. We're going to get some fuel. 30 more miles. We wouldn't have made it. We made it from Las Vegas, Nevada to oh, 537. Hopefully uh, he'll be able to come back on, but tell him I wish him luck that uh, we're thinking about him. You know what this uh, gas station reminds me of? It reminds me of Bucky's. Now, when Bucky's, uh, ooh, look at that, Love's truck just pulled in. Mm. What I'm doing, <laughs> could, could have done it. Oh, yeah. Yep. First joined watching the streams. It all, every one has to start somewhere. With Michael, he started just hanging out with Big Tex Gaming, and he actually ended up uh, playing a lot of games with us before uh, 
Actually, it was during that process that he eventually joined us and on the many journeys and we all have starts from somewhere. Believe me, all this didn't just happen overnight either. Everything that you could see happened because of a great community. I had to learn from somebody. I actually didn't ne one thing I never did, I never asked a streamer, what do you have? How much uh, like, why are you reaching over there or over there for anything? No. I simply investigated. Did my own investigation. And said, you know what? I could do the exact same thing. And I had two computers that were not even a gaming, gaming laptop either. Back when I had an, an Xbox console... Which I sold my Xbox console recently for the very first time. I mean, we have consoles in the house, but we're more of a PC people right now. One I can always do stuff from work on my PC and alright so there are reasons why I chose this route But everybody had to watch somebody. They also say that um, you shouldn't be eating while you're driving, eating while you're streaming either. Yes, you know how long it took me to build a page, John? It took me from 2017 to write about, and I was doing it before the pandemic. Right when Mug TV and all of them were there. It took me from 2017, well, to 20, uh, 24 or 23 now, constantly building and getting my name out. I've said this over and over. Start with your family. They are going to be your biggest supporters. If you don't have the family support, your, su your support system will probably be broken. To this day, I don't consider myself a big streamer. Probably more of a mid streamer. But I can count on, I can count how many people I've helped over the years. Believe me, when I first started this, my family did not even think it was even possible. Until they saw that you were actually funny. And the fact that they saw the money, money coming in too, like, you have something special here. I got past their friends. I got work. I tell everyone I'm at work with too. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. I try to be the best I can. I'm always very humbled. And remembering back when I first started who decided that even myself, Michael, and many others out there, now you're, like myself, I'm actually building gaming PCs 
free for a couple of friends of mine. Man, let's get this thing up there. We are almost to our location, about 85 miles away. We will have delivered these concrete barriers from Las Vegas, Nevada, all the way to Calasavalia, Montana. But uh, yeah, I never take anything for granted. Uh, I continue just doing what I love doing and always getting the word out of where I'm at too. Thank you, thank you. Well, I try my best for sure, Dylan. And, uh, <laughs> not ready for me to end. Well, right now we're not ending yet. We're still, one, we're still driving. Uh, said I'd look at, once we get to Montana, I'll see where we are. We might have time for another hour of streaming here. But usually during my work weeks, I strive to, if I can get two hours in after a long day of work, I am happy with two hours. Or if I can get anything longer than that, I'll try my best. And uh, this is, we're all about helping each other out. And, oh. You know what? I'll tell you the truth. YouTube is the hardest channel to grow. For myself personally, I think I have 181 or 186 on YouTube right now. And I got 11 on my second channel. YouTube is the hardest thing to grow. I don't know what it is about YouTube. But for myself, I... Uh, out of all the channels to grow... That is the last one as far as monetizing that a lot of the other streamers are, oh yeah, you know it, Volvo, right here. Yep, we got a Volvo VNL right here. Welcome, Scar 2K15. You must play some basketball back in the day, or used to. So yeah, this is a John Barrett customized truck that we are rolling here. And uh, I wish I could say YouTube is the easiest. It is the hardest thing, no matter what channel. And so those of you that are tuned out, oh, whoa, 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 don't, oh, can't believe that just happened. I literally can't believe that just happened. Coles, a second. That looks like Applebee's. Dang, I could not stop whatsoever. The damage is already done. We are about 40 something miles away. I knew it was uh, impossible to stop. All right, you gonna let me go car? I think I had the right of way anyway. Not a single scratch on a truck. That's a Volvo truck. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Uh, oh, I know. The only reason there's no scratch is because I have no damage mod. I literally need... Oh, yeah. I'm... As far as the general concern, Rebel, uh, believe me... Uh, I definitely uh, I know where you're coming from. Just speaking from a YouTube side. And so, uh, and I'm streaming, so I can't d delete any messages that need to be streamed or deleted from Kick, if any. But uh, as far as that, <laughs> you know how you do Facebook rules. Yeah. But one thing I'm, I've always been about since day one, since 2017, 20, might have been 2018, I've always multi-streamed out to, because I want to reach for the stars. I want to reach everyone that I'm able to. And why not do that in a uh, truck and trailer? And I do the best I can here. Uh, I love it when the community is 
Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's definitely on uh, right now. Uh, he's in Discord at the moment. He can definitely swing by if you need him for a second. Uh, I thought I had you as a moderator. I don't remember. All right, there we go. Yeah, he's in Discord right now. Uh, uh, Rebel needs you to delete something off on kick. Alright. Alright, yeah, it's one of his messages, most likely. Yeah. I'm about to message him now. Which one is it? <laughs> still trucking a Garrett! Yes, I'm still trucking. Can I give you a gift? Gifts are always accepted. Although me crashing is always <laughs> not the best. Appreciate Garrett falling for 1,122 days. Gifts are always welcome. Uh, oh, Multop. It is a single player mode simply because I'm uh, actually using a new uh, paint scheme here uh, that I did for uh, Barrett, John Barrett, and I can't even get her on this curve. So, uh, right now, uh, this week, we won't be multiplayer. Uh, I need to get your skin redone and figure out what the heck went on with it. So, what you been up to these days, Garrett? My friend from Texas. Alright, now, let's try to get on the road. We have driven from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada and heading to Montana uh, to uh, to do what we have to <laughs> Oh, slammed with work. Now, uh, I, Barrett, John Barrett actually messaged me a while back. I got to go back and re-download the Mod Studio. These trucks are not on the mod studios. They're the way that, one of the ways I showed you how. Actually, you know what? I just thought of something here. The way your truck will not be messed up. Oh yeah, I love it when we got a lot of people here. You know how your the paint was just moved everywhere. Sure. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes, you can definitely. Any t yes, a tip is very much welcome. Oh, my truck. How in the heck did that happen to my poor truck? Too much concrete. Too much concrete. Uh, definitely, I think I have a PayPal somewhere. Hold on here. Uh, let's see if I can fix this truck real quick. All right. We flipped over at the wrong time. All right, we can't go that way. Actually, we have to go this way. Oh, crap. Hold on here. Uh, yeah, kick is... Hold on. We're... Uh... Whoa. Oh, no! My truck has went hog wild. All right, all right. I'll take care of it. It let me take care of it. All right, I think I took care of it. It's all new uh, to me. To each uh, platform is totally different. Now I'm making everyone dizzy here. All right. Yep. Whoa. What's up? Cobra Gaming's in the house. Alright. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Alright. So, been busy working. I've been busy crashing. Whoa! No! Stupid concrete barriers. Come on. 
Oh, these concrete barriers are too heavy for this truck. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Hey, I've been wondering where you've been these days. You've been hiding out. I know. So. Dang. Awesome. Take advantage of those days off. All right. Hey, I'm happy I can actually see Discord for uh, since I got four monitors now. Oh yeah, before it was only two monitors. Uh, Discord was behind the actual uh, uh, stream itself, so I never knew who was on. Now I can actually talk to you guys while talking to chat and talking to kick that is weird I deleted it on kick and what was that well I, I decided to take a break I switched things around uh, I, yeah I did uh, switch things around to where now I got more room and I can still use a green screen uh, well for this instance now you can see What's behind me? I have a green curtain and a green screen, and it depends on your room. I mean, I obviously didn't want to cover the AC unit again, so I had to. Uh, I just, yeah, I just didn't want to cover it up. All right. Ooh, dang. Yeah, Darlington tomorrow. Oh, don't. Oh, I know. Yep, and John's not gonna like it too much. Yep, but we finally made it. I've been, yeah, well, uh, I've been so busy. I think I got to reinstall Mod Studios, but I think I have another idea to make it work. Uh, what I've been, I have this template that I've been using, and this template actually works great. And all I, I might have sent you this template before. I might have. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I did. And by all I do is have your paint scheme on your. Uh, of your truck in that template uh, where it has all the trucks and stuff you just load that whole thing in the old-fashioned way instead of loading one in because you're the funny thing is the trailer never got messed up it was only the uh, actual uh, the Kenworth was the only thing that got messed up all right that's the weird part But I've, I've been super busy myself. I actually was able to get on John's this week and uh, work on... I mean, he sent me like 20 truck designs. And I'm only running like half of them. Yes, very busy. I mean, I try to get to it when I'm able to. But it's a long time coming. This is just one of the many paint schemes of the many trucks that... Uh, he's saying I told him I would get to it, and I'm finally able to get to it after all these years, not years. And but yeah, yours wasn't the only truck; it was mine too. I've oh, how long have I been doing this? Let me see, 2017. If we count the Xbox days, 
Let's see, 2023. Six years. So it would definitely be about six years ballpark figure. Uh, as far and I over those six year period I have helped probably well over 50 plus uh, gamers slash streamers uh, over time for various pro yep perfect So, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, that's for sure. So, uh, so yeah, right about six years. First time finding out, you know, this is not the only video I've done. I've cooking videos are always highly requested. Uh, wow, it's your bedtime. No worries. It seems like you always come right at the end, Dylan. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, there's plenty of videos that, uh, of my horrendous, horrendous wrecking job. Always. I mean, uh, I am, I am now the worst atheist. Yeah. And so I am definitely, exactly. <laughs> oh, you oh, we've never taken utility poles. That's actually Oh, that's not too far. I'm seeing what I'm seeing See, I'm using a flatbed that I haven't used a whole lot of. And there's a lot of cool stuff. Definitely. If you're live Oh, yeah, no worries, uh, Dylan. I have church in the morning, too. I usually don't go live till uh, the afternoon. I don't think I have anything else going on. And so, uh, what? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. I can always give it a try, but the only thing is my NASCAR heat does not want to work that well. That's the only problem. I've... I haven't been able to figure out why NASCAR Heat does not actually want to work. And well, I race and works fine. Just uh Oh cool, John. Oh, you make reels. Cool. Uh Yeah. Have a great night, Dylan. Uh, until the next time, of course. Like I said, we got some polls here. Oh, Radio Light Garden City, Kansas, which we ain't going to Kansas. That's true. <laughs> yeah. The only thing, like I said, when I get the racing going, and even after at the end of today's stream, whenever I, earlier this morning, I went from going oh there's an achievement for those light poles oh i did not know that so there is a reason for me to take these light poles i have not taken these light poles at all i'm looking at the various stuff because i have not used this trailer flatbed hardly at all i do like the fact that there are light poles yeah they're yeah, there it is. Yeah, the short uh, drive to Pocatelli, 486 miles. All right. Yeah, it doesn't really... 
Well, obviously, it's not going to tell me. And also, it's along the way for uh, if I was to just drive that. The last thing is lumber. But I've never taken utility poles on this flatbed. Too bad we didn't go north of the border up into Canada. This is going back down to Idaho. To Pocatello. Isn't that where Raya? Yeah, I think it's where Raya stream. Uh, where his little thing is in Pocatello. I think it's where the Raya barn is. Where the famous Idaho spuds. And of course, uh, the only thing that they haven't done yet. Yeah, they've got Montana. they got Texas. They're working on Oklahoma and Kansas. Then they'll be in the coast. All right, so power on Sparka, Sparka, Montana, and support the power network. Circuit breakers. Well, I did a circuit breaker earlier today. And utility pole cargo, uh, the electric, oh, electric substation in each of the following cities. It's Butte, Glasgow, Havar. Well, this one's going from uh, to Pocatelli. But it's not going to those locations, which is very odd. Hmm. I'm going to try uh, seeing if this NASCAR will even work for me. I don't... Typically, what I... So, what you're... What are you doing? YouTube videos. You're... Oh, yeah, just like reels. And actually, have you seen my reels, John? I made one uh, from Disney World, uh, the Tron ride. 107 views. And I made some other Disney videos that has less than that. 40-something. I made some... Uh, uh, what do you call those? Oh, hiking videos. Which I need to actually finish the other hiking video. Those are... Oh, those are the only cities that have a special place. Oh, well, going to Idaho doesn't help me at all. Because that's going... So it's not even Butte, Glasgow, or Havari. Yeah, none of these have... And I'm almost into Canada right now. But on my YouTube video... So we won't worry about this right now. I want to test something out. Of course, this was the uh, first truck, the first truck of the mini series. That's true. It is a Montana achievement. We'll probably be breaking out the flatbed on every drive we do. Uh, but this uh, Euro United LLC is brought to you by John Barrett. This is one of his trucks that he uses. Uh, Big Tex Trucking. I just put a random place and random zip codes and all that fun stuff. It all turned out pretty well. Actually, I wanted it it turned bigger than I wanted on the logo itself. And so, we didn't really do much to the tires or the rims. I figured that's for another day. But let's go over here. One thing I want to test out. I'm trying to think if it... Y'all know me. I've been having so many issues with NASCAR. And so, I just want to see if it even wants to work. And we got some racing miles out of this. Unfortunately, it's not anything good. So, yeah, F-122 works. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't have reinstalled, so it wouldn't work anyway. Dang it. So, yeah, it would take forever to reinstall. Never mind, uh... NASCAR, he won't work anyway. Because I don't even have it installed. I don't even have another NASCAR game on here. Uh, for the NASCAR? Yeah, I've one on live stream, and so that wouldn't work out anyway. And definitely wouldn't work out to the... Uh, actually, there's a lot...
by plane sound. Oh, I know some. Yeah, that's good. That's always good. Yeah, whenever it comes to music, I try to uh, be very cautious. Rework on the Peterbilt in Oklahoma State. Oh, cool. And uh, actually, I uh, might want to show you a little paint scheme. Let me open this up here. I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to open up, give you a little painting lesson. All right. Yep. So uh, what I have here, I'm going to break out some good old-fashioned. Let's see here where it is. Where did I put it? Oh, Bandy Gaming. Dang, I have a lot of files for Bandy Gaming. Let's see. See if I can find what I'm looking for. There's a day cab. Oh, that's an SES file. Where the heck is it? And sleep. There's a box one. Actually, those are all SCS files. There we go. Truck and trailer. What is this here? JPEG. Where's my paint? Oh, here. Bandit trailer. Oh, it, no, it might be down here. 900 day. I think that's it. Nope, that's definitely not it. Hold on here, I lost my... That's what I call it, there we go. So these are the paint schemes that I have. Good old, good American truck and change their, change their menu. Let's see. This might be it, 900 day bandit. Oh yeah, this is a, this is one of the paint schemes. I think I have. Hey, what's up, Jordan? And then I have another one that's right here. Oh, you know, this is the one. Yeah, this is uh, the one that we use. All right, so to fix the bandit one, what I'm going to do is... See, I have a blank template here already called example. I'm going to lay, I'm going to copy this and paste it. And I'm going to rename it Bandit Gaming. We're going to rename it Bandit Gaming. Designs. Okay, so we renamed it Bandit Gaming Designs. Because what I'm going to do is open this up. Open the vehicle here. Cool. Open the truck. We're going to upgrade. We're going to do a paint job real quick. And I believe it's... What is the truck that, you, that the Bandit has? Is it Kenworth? I think it's Kenworth. Yeah, 900 day, that's right. It's a 900 day cab. Is it a day cab? I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the one. Actually, what's this? That's a 900 day, so yeah, that... So uh, what we'll do is we'll just copy this. Let's 
because this is sealed today and we're going to copy we're going to go to this and we're going to paste it boom and now we're going to save it under a different name here I've been good definitely good don't go back to what I just had a few moments ago so we're going to get out of this get out of that You know, do I have a Bandit Designs? Yes, Bandit Gaming. Yeah, we do have it already here. Let's see. Technically, I probably didn't even need to do that. All I have to do is just move the DDS file. So, uh, as I go back to Bandit Designs, or Bandit Gaming. Where is the... Where is it? Oh, here it is. 900 Day Paint. I think that's it. Look for the nearest one that was modified. Which I think was this one. Yeah, today's the 13th, so we'll copy this. This is a DDS file. And we'll go back to Bandit Designs here. And we're going to go back to the Kenworth. And we're going to paste it. Alright, that one's replaced. So technically, I just forgot. All I have to do is replace a lot of these files. The trailer should be fine. I don't think you deleted that. I just need another folder open real quick. There we go. Okay. Sleep Bandit. There we go. We're going to if we copy that. Do I see sleep? Yeah, just need to change the name. We're going to paste it and rename it. Oh. It's not letting me. What the heck? Here, we'll rename it then. I've been good. Just been working uh, like crazy, of course. There we go. Okay, so we replaced the sleeping one. We got the day one. Looks like that's all we needed to do. There's a rear door. Do I see a door? I don't see a door there. Oh, that's not trailers. So let's go to trailers real quick. And we're going to do a box truck. I just need to rename those. As soon as I always forget which one is which. I'm going to rename all those here. Hopefully it doesn't mess with anything. Got all the different type of... Uh, this is how easy it is for the paint schemes. They're very easy to do.
All right. So now we got all that. So now the easy part is moving things over. Replace. Replace. I forgot to rename this. Actually, this one here. All right, now we can just replace all this. Really, it's not what I wanted to do. Replace. Replace, replace. All right, now I'm like, oh yeah, there's 28. All right, so this is a, a quick fix for a bandit game. I was just speaking with him a few minutes ago on how I needed to update this. And oh, the 53, we haven't done that either. Oh, shoot. Need to rename it. What is the 53? Box 53. Okay, so we fixed all that. Where did the box 53 go to? Oh, there it is. Unless that's already there. All right. So now I'm going to close all this out. Close that out. And I'm going to get back here. Designs, designs, where is it? Okay, here we go. So we'll copy this. Actually, I'm going to direct message you and see if it works. Oh, man, then. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Oh, too powerful. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do it this way. Do it the old-fashioned share way. Let me share this. Google Drive. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing uh, the file here in just a moment for Bandit. Everything else is all good. We're going to be wrapping things up anyway. Uh, told you I'd come on for a little bit. Oh, I just saw, sorry, Rebel, I just saw that I was working on an important document. Have a great night, Rebel. I'm going to be heading out myself here in a moment. Uh, and I'll have to reinstall NASCAR again. It just wasn't installed this time. But, uh, yeah, work's been going good. Uh, still doing what I've been doing. We had a great stream this morning, those that caught it. It was pretty amazing. 
And uh, while the files are being taken care of for that, I think I'm going to get on out of here myself. Uh, like I said, we've had a great stream. Couldn't thank you enough. We're going to continue doing more of John Barrett's trucks this week. So uh, be on the lookout for uh, John Barrett's trucks. And if you have any truck ideas, you say, hey, Big Tex, you ought to create something like this. I'll look into it. Uh, it took me a while to get some of John's finally on the road. So we take him on the road for us. And, uh, yeah. I want to thank each and every one of you, those everyone on Kick, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitch, on Discord, uh, everywhere that I am on. And like I say, y'all have been great coming and rooting for me and cheering. We had a great conversation tonight. Uh, all right, so I'm going to let y'all get going and y'all have a great night. I'll catch you on the next stream. This is Big Tech Sun. Over and out. Y'all have a great one.